Um, so, uh, the, we have a very strong government. They have uh, very strong execution capabilities when it comes to infrastructure, uh, uh, high-speed rail or uh, highways. Uh, we have massive constructions, and uh, now it's probably the largest infrastructure in terms of transportation uh, in the world. Uh, but when you have a strong government, uh, are you concerned about innovation? There might be things that that's too uh, strict that that, that that's going to hurt innovation. Well, I don't. Th I think Chinese innovation is going at a very high speed. Uh, I think that the government could raise how much it spends on science research even more than it is. It's 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 raising those things. Um, uh, you know, there have been areas like in the media where you have to say why the Chinese market, although this is starting to change, has been behind in terms of media companies and things. I think a little bit that the state probably deserves uh, as a little bit of the reason the media sector uh, hasn't come further along. But in terms of things like how do you make energy, you know, the state policies are not holding back somebody, you know, figuring out some big invention. In fact, and I have a company, a, a nuclear power company called TerraPower, that really China's the most natural partner for us with the breakthrough uh, generation of nuclear because China's a lot like the United States was in the 1960s where the idea that you want to go forward and do new things, it's very clear. The idea that the status quo isn't where you want to be. The US today is very careful that, hey, we're pretty happy with the current conditions. So if somebody wants to build a new building or take some new approach, there's a lot of, mm, maybe no, you know, there's like five levels that you go through, maybe no, maybe no. Uh, and so it's, uh, whereas the bias towards moving and doing new things, which has a small downside, but a huge upside as well. Uh, you know, I'd say in terms of breakthroughs in some areas like nuclear, it's more likely to come out of China uh, than almost any other place because of this uh, bias towards doing big projects. And in, in the 1950s, 1960s, that was the U.S. In the 70s, it started to be Japan. Uh, Korea <laughs> took on that role, and you know that big engineering uh, uh, bias is 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 great for the world. So.